way he's going at the moment, and already starting to uh, catch up some of the tail enders. Mike Hunt, number 74, from Stoke Mandeville, is about to be swallowed by Barry Sheen. Down the fastest part of the circuit now, tucks down behind that ferry, and just watch him swoop past number 74. Another rider in trouble there gets swallowed up, and Barry Sheen is on his way now to complete lap number nine, which is half distance. Look over the shoulder again to see where Ron Haslam is. Ron Haslam is still there, but Barry at the moment holding a commanding lead on this uh, short circuit here at Donington. And uh, number seven, his lead, Barry Sheen, is 2.6 seconds ahead of Ron Haslam. 2.6 seconds. Barry first started to race motorcycles at Franz Hatch in 1968. And that's, uh, what now, 13 years ago, two world championships, a numeral British championship. In fact, I don't think there's a British championship that Barry Sheen has not won on at least one occasion. He's won superbike titles, he's won 500 titles, and of course, two world championships. Safely around the claims, and another fantastic wheelie there. Up to Coppers, changing down through the box to about 70 miles an hour. Around safely and onto the fastest part of the straight once again. And let's take a check at half distance on the order. Barry Sheen, the leader, in second place is number two, Ron Haslam. Third is number four, Graham Crosby. Fourth is number 31, Graham Wood. Fifth is number three, Cork Ballington. In sixth place is number 27, Steve Henshaw. And in seventh place is number 10, Mick Plant. That was the order at half distance. There's Barry Sheen, the leader. That's number two in second place, Ron Haslam. Uh, one of the mount starters here today, John Newbold, unfortunately, who had a spill in practice here on Thursday. He's all right, apart from damaging his toes, possibly uh, one of the toes broken, but certainly scraped. Apart from that, he's okay. But I know uh, Noddy, John Newbold, unfortunately not racing in this race, and that'll be a big disappointment to him and to his fans as well. But apart from that foot, he's okay. And that's uh, another rider out, number 110, Robert Griffiths from Derby with the 500 Suzuki. Another mechanical breakdown, because I think uh, Phil Reed would agree with me that uh, really this circuit here does take it out, not only on the riders, but also on the machines. Well, yeah, it's, um, it's not especially hard circuit, uh, actually, Peter. You know, compared with the Grand Prix or the Isle of Man that many of these riders have come back from. Well, looking there then at the second place man, number two, Ron Haslam. As I said, now with his powered hang glider, a 250cc engine, and that's just a quarter of the size that he's uh, taking round on this Honda. 1,123cc engine. Barry Sheen is still the leader. Barry Sheen is round safely, then uh, one of the men who have been lapped. Looks like number 75, Phil Riley. That's the second place man, Rocket Ron Haslam from Langley Mill, Nottinghamshire. He likes to fly model aeroplanes as well and had his first race when he was just 16 years of age. Changing down through the box, you see the... Uh, and look at that, the knee on the ground there. And you can see those uh, padded kneecaps just to protect the knee. And already starting to lap. Number 75, uh, Phil Riley there has just been overtaken by Rocket One Haslam. Number two, fastest ever. He went round here today in one minute, 15.5, and that was his fastest circuit ever at Donington. Up now to Coppice. Changing through the gearbox, knee almost on the ground. Incredible angles that they put these missiles. And a little bit of a, a swizzle there on the rear end as he turned the power on, perhaps just a half a second or so, or a tenth of a second too soon. Ron Haslam down to the chicane. And it's going to be lap number 12 completed for them. That's two-third distance, and that's the pit signals for Barry Sheen, and that's part of the system, even here on the short circuit like this, to let Barry know exactly where he is. He's got a little bit of a cushion between him now, because between the leader, Barry Sheen, number seven, and the second place man, number two, Ron Haslam, there are a couple of the riders who have been lapped, so uh, that uh, gives a little bit of protection to Barry Sheen's lead, if, in actual fact, he leads it. And Graham Crosby holding on to third place is 17 seconds down on Barry Sheen. Graham Crosby, number four, in third place, 17 seconds behind this man, Barry Sheen. The uh, familiar 
Donald Duck on the helmet. That's been a trademark of Barry Sheen ever since he started motorcycle racing. And the lucky number seven, it's a number he would never race without. A round coppice in this beautifully prepared 500cc works Yamaha. Tucks down behind that fairing. And yes, he overtakes the uh, slower man there, number 42. And that is Gary Lingham from Eltham riding a 500 Suzuki. He has been lapped as Barry Sheen comes into complete lap. Number 13 and increasing his lead all the time. Barry, I know, as he said, this is one championship, the World of Sports Superbike Challenge he would like to win. And he's got a lot of racing here at this John Player meeting, the two-day meeting here at Donington Park. But round Craner Curves, Hollywood, down to the old hairpin. Second or possibly third gear at run about 85 miles an hour. The corner that uh, cost Graham Wood his chance of points under Starkey's Bridge. 120, 130 miles an hour, and he's got a gaggle of riders in front of him there. And let's see how he gets past these riders. A lot of work to be done, but I think Barry is just the man to do it. That's one of them gone, number one. Now number 34 is uh, past. That's John Hesselwood. Not quite, though. Barry just holds back. But surely now on the fastest part of the circuit, he really squirt the power on and go down. Barry Sheen with a lot of uh, slower riders in front of him. Overtakes one very neatly indeed. Coming up now behind number 71. David Griffiths through on the inside of him. Uh, got through those three back markers, looks around to see where Ron Haslam is in second place. And Ron Haslam, we can tell you, is quite a way behind him, but still in the second place. So Barry Sheen now completed 14 laps, just four laps to go to another 15 points, and a tremendous lead in the World of Sports Superbike Challenge Championship for this year, with just one line to go at the end of August. Through Craner Curves, down to the old hairpin, number 28, Steve Ward, from Leeds, just inside him, just like that. And Steve Ward, I can tell you, is uh, is no rookie rider. He's a tremendous performer. But Barry Sheen, on his day as he is today, well, in this class of field, he must be just about unbeatable. Poetry in motion as you watch a master at work. Up this short straight now to Coppice Corner, changing down through the box, around safely, and takes these corners as if he was on tram lines. Tucks down behind the fairing again, gets himself comfortable over that little dip where the wheel just comes off the ground, changes down through the gearbox, down to first gear, losing 140, 105 miles an hour. From there to 150, right down to 45 miles an hour. Barry looks over his shoulder, and there's a lot of tail enders of the slower men who have been lapped coming through, but somewhere in that gaggle will be number two, Rocket Ron Haslam, in second place. And this looks like him. It is not. No, that's one of the men who've been lapped. Ron Haslam in among those there. These are the uh, men who really make the racing, but they've uh, already been lapped. And there's Rocket Ron Haslam coming down now to the old hairpin, just ahead of this man, number 42. 42 is Gary Lingham there, but we go under Starkey's Bridge now, and we see there he is, number two, Ron Haslam, the third of those machines, and he's got a lot of uh, riders to pass now. Number one, Steve Manship, the uh, British champion of 1980, and number 71, and that's Rocket Ron Haslam, the second place man, has a Steve Manship. And wait his time now to pass number 71 as they come down the back straight. 71, David Griffith. And let's see the power of this Honda as he really squirts it and uh, passes that man as well. But he's uh, really dropping down now from Barry Sheen. Barry Sheen, a comfortable lead. 16 laps completed. Two to go for Barry Sheen and two to go now for Rocket World has them also. Gets another pit signal, you see him looking towards his pits, that tells him the exact position, and he knows he's got a fairly comfortable second place. Number 28, Steve Ward, is about to be swallowed up by Rocket Ron Haslam. Steve Ward, the uh, Yorkshireman, comes from Leeds. 
But he's managing to keep in front of Ron Haslam. Ron, of course, knows his position, but he nudges and says, excuse me, and uh, Steve just gives way, and Ron Haslam goes through. They're on lap number 17 now, with just one to go after this. Rocket Ron Haslam, the second place man. Third is still number four, uh, Graham Crosby. In fourth place is still number three, Cork Ballington. Fifth, number 31, and that's Bob Smith. And the sixth place rider is number 27, Steve Henshaw, with Mick Grant in seventh place. This is the second place man, Ron Haslam. Pulls himself back up into the saddle, tucks down behind the ferry, and uh, down towards the chicane. And starting his last lap now is Barry Sheen. Last lap, and let's follow Barry Ryan. He's uh, just got over a mile to go to 15 points and maximum points in the World of Sports Superbike Challenge. Around safely, just easing uh, himself around greater curves, Hollywood, down to the old hairpin. Changing down through that box. 85 miles an hour, around safely, waving there quite casually, and a very delighted Barry Sheen, under Starkey's Bridge, down to McLean's, the right-hander, where they take in second gear at around about 70 miles an hour, waving again, pops a wheelie, and quite a wheelie, almost the length of the straight, gets the wheel down, and goes around Coppers quite safely, and quite easy, waving there, as he goes round, leaning over at that incredible angle, a little bit of a wiggle there, perhaps. Uh, well, we don't know whether that was deliberate or not from Barry, but uh, he's pops another wheelie. He's just got the chicane to go through now at round about 45 miles an hour, and he has won the second round of the Superbike Challenge. And I wonder, are we going to see a wheelie from Barry as he gets this machine straight, looks over the shoulder, makes sure there's no one in the way, and pops a tremendous wheelie. And Barry Sheen has 15 points, a total now of 30, and a tremendous performance by him. But also by number two, Rocket Ron Haslam, the man who uh, should finish in, uh, in fact, has finished in second place. Third should be number four, Graham Crosby, and uh, he finishes in third place. But that's the leader, Barry Sheen, and I think that was a very determined ride by Barry. Yeah, very determined, but I think Barry is uh, hoping or wishing that Grand Prix were as easy as that to win uh, as he made it look. Although Ron kept him at it, I know Ron does keep his chin on the tank and try to the maximum, but he was, uh, had the handicap of having this bigger, heavier, harder machine to ride of the Honda. Winning ride for Barry, a nice lead up to winning the next weekend's Dutch TT. Certainly he seems to uh, have a much quicker bike than he had when we were last here at Donington, but he waits there now for Ron Haslam to come alongside him. A shake of hands for first and second. And Barry Sheen there, delighted with another victory here at Donington, waving to the crowds, waving to the marshals. And Barry even seems to know where the cameras are to wave at the cameras. And his mum's here, by the way, Peter. And his mum is here, and I know Iris will be absolutely delighted with uh, Barry's performance there. And Ron Haslam, too, there, getting a tremendous uh, welcome from the crowds. The local hero, of course, uh, from Langley Mill, Nottinghamshire, just up the road. And uh, he's the man who, I'm sure, if he could get into Grand Prix Racing World Championship, he would certainly be up among them as well. But maybe that will come from He's only 24 years of age, so he's got a few years left. And there's Barry Sheen tucking down behind the fairing on his uh, sort of uh, lap of honour. Through the chicane. And safely around. So, there we have Barry Sheen, the winner, coming in to receive the World of Sport Superbike Challenge Trophy. There's his mum, Irish Sheen, Tom Wheatcroft there to make the presentation, the winner's hat and the trophy to a very delighted Barry Sheen as we return to Dickie Davis in the studio.